Hey everybody, Derilly here. Thank you so much for joining me for another Let's Play of Dandelion, which is brought to you by Chariots. We are pursuing Gion, and last episode we got his bad ending, so now I've gone back to our little branch area and we're going to go after his good ending. So, let's go. Our relationship is good as it is now, so don't ask such questions. Paintings? Oh, I'm not interested. I should go. Let's see, let me give him an... No, I don't want to give him an orange. I think he doesn't like oranges anymore after that. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. Ah. Sorry, I'll get out. Okay, we'll get that one more point. So we'll just play, play it safe and smile. Hi. Cook? No. I'm gonna eat out from now on. He's acting like a child. Alright, well, we're maxed out with him, so... I don't have to put up with his childish games anymore. Okay, so now all the pets have moved out of the house, and I think the next scene we'll get with... Uh, the next event scene we'll get will be with Gion, a new one. Working towards the good end. Here we go, this should be new. The art club... Oh wait, no, don't tell me, am I still... Okay. The art club exhibition is around the corner. Are he, Jay, and I the only ones left in the room? I want to do my best since this will be the last time participating in the exhibition. As a matter of fact, I won't be able to draw anymore. Not when I live with Mom. <sighs> I slowly put the brush down. He, Jung, aren't you going home? He, Jay, was already packing his belongings. I'm really late, so I thought about dropping you off at your home. Wait a minute, is this all the same? Yeah, it's all the same. Huh. She said thank you. Okay, so I guess this went a little differently. I hurriedly cut he Jay off. Because if I hear more, it's going to make me feel miserable. You go on in. I forced myself to smile at he Jay. He Jung. I looked at the canvas in front of me. I'll see you tomorrow. The sound of he Jay's footsteps died away. I could tell what he Jay wanted to say. But I didn't want to hear it. If I heard it, I may not want to leave. So, I don't want to hear it. These days, tears filled up my eyes whenever I'm alone. I often cried silently alone in my room at night. I was not this weak. But I miss them. I miss the animals very much. We were always together. Will I ever be able to see them again? <sighs> Don't cry. I can't develop a habit of crying. I need to be perfect in front of Mom. I need to do my best now to show her that I'm different to show her that I'm a different person now. I don't want to be the same person as I was four years ago. I thought that I heard someone call me. Jung. This voice. When I opened my eyes, I saw a big canvas and brushes and paints in front of me. Oh, I must have fallen asleep in the club room. Hee Jung. Huh? In front of me. Huh? In front of me was Jion. Is... is it really you? Am I dreaming? No, I don't care if it's a dream or not. I'm just glad we're able to meet again. So glad. My vision became blurry. I thought that we would never see each other again. But thank God that we did. I had so many things to tell him. And the thought of leaving without telling him any one of those things just made me so sad. Jion... Jion. I stretched out my hands. Is it really you? Is it really? I could see Jion's left cheek has been bruised. He got hurt again. Jion, did you get hurt again? What are you doing here? You didn't do something wrong again, did you? Oops, I know Jion doesn't like to hear that, but I couldn't help it. I had so many things to tell Jion. So much that it would take more than a day to tell him everything. But now that he's in front of me, I'm afraid that he'll leave again. I thought that he was gone forever. I'm sorry, Jion. I'm sorry for everything, for making you angry. So... So please don't disappear from in front of me anymore. I don't care if this is a dream or not. Please don't go. Just listen to me for a moment. Don't scare me like you did last time and just leave. Hey, Jung, you're so dumb. 
Didn't you understand what I had told you? Jion spoke in a weak voice. Yeah, I think I'm really dumb. I, I would think about it multiple times a day. What could I have done to make you not leave? What could I have done to not make things the way they are now? Although it was over. Although I knew that I couldn't turn back time, I, I just didn't want to accept the reality. Sorry. Huh? I noticed that tears were streaming down my cheeks. S sorry. I tried not to cry. I could feel my body heating up. Is this not a dream? I could also feel my head throbbing. Hurry, I have to tell him. Before he leaves again. Jion, please listen to what I have to say. I won't ask you to believe me. And I won't ask you to stay with me. Thank you for making me laugh during the time we spent together. Have no bear. I'll protect you. Whether that's the real you or not, it doesn't matter anymore. I'll call you whenever I want to hear your voice. You're special, so you're number one on my speed dial list. I loved your bright smile. Oranges are the best remedy when you're depressed. I really did. For the first time, I wanted to be a part of someone else's life. So, thank you. Wherever you are and whatever you do, I wish you all the happiness. You probably don't even want me to do that, but... That's... I'm glad. That's all. That I was able to tell you this. Ah! Jion's arms were not as warm as I'd expected. He must have been out for a long time. My head ached. I still couldn't tell if it was a dream or reality. What am I supposed to do? Jion's body was trembling. You are just a complete fool. No matter what I tell you, how much I threaten you. Why won't you run away from me? What else am I supposed to do? I'm glad. Jion didn't get mad. I don't want to hurt you anymore. Jion. So, that scary guy, he wasn't the real you, right? I didn't care if it was a dream. I was just grateful that Jion came to me. And that he's not angry. He listened and hugged me. Is this really a dream? I was afraid of you getting close to me, and so I did those awful things to you. But why? Why are you concerned about me? I told you not too many, many times, and you won't even listen. Why? I'm just a piece of trash. And yet why are you so nice to me? Jian? You're so nice. Too nice for your own good. Too nice, like her. Her? Jian wrapped his hands around my back. And he hugged me gently. My heart gradually began to beat faster. I could feel Jian's body warming up. I was scared. Everyone who was kind to me all ended up being miserable. So I was scared. That you'll end up being like that. That if you come any closer, you too will end up being miserable. Become miserable for being close to him? Why does he think that? I'm okay. I stroked Jian's trembling back. I couldn't fully understand what he meant, but I felt that I need to reassure Jian. You're not okay. Because of me, you paid so much money and now you're leaving. How? How did he know that I'm going to leave? I ran into Jisoo by chance and he told me. I was really told off. He told me I'd really hurt your feelings. I felt so pathetic, causing trouble for everyone. A guy like me, it's better that I just die alone. Don't say that. Better to die alone. Why do you say that? Hey, Jung, please, just forget about me. I'm begging you, don't do anything for me now. I can't even threaten you anymore, so it's better that you just leave me. Don't try to protect me. If not, you'll be unhappy. Please. Jion's voice was shaking. Jion. Leave him? If I had thought of leaving him, I would have done it already. But here I am in front of him. Missing him. Waiting for him to come back. Being concerned about him every day. It felt as if my words were falling apart when I had realized that, that we may never meet again. Seeing Jion's traces disappearing from my home broke my heart. 
I want to give him back his smile. There's no way I could ever abandon him. This feeling of mine. Since when? Since when did I develop this feeling? Before I knew it, I could think of no one but Gion. I was scared by his unfamiliar behaviors, but I wanted to know him. Although he would act threatening, I could not give him up. I had a glimpse of hope that he would one day return to how he was. The reason why I was able to hope, despite getting hurt, is because... Because I... Since when did I begin to like you? The reason why I secretly followed him. The reason why I opened his wallet. The reason why I borrowed money from Mom. Everything was because... Because I like you. I couldn't leave you alone. And I can't abandon you. My confession came out very naturally. So, don't resist me. I... I want to stay with you, Jion. I finally told him. <laughs> Jion laughed bitterly. Despite everything I did to you, you still like me? I could still vividly remember Jion's menacing attitude. But... I believe that wasn't the real you. Jion's body had become completely warm now. Hey, Jung. You're going to regret this decision. I don't care. Even if something misfortunate happens to me, just as you had said, I can't leave you no matter what. You'll really greatly regret it. You'll become miserable. But it's okay? Yeah. I could think of nothing else but you. It's okay. Whatever happens, I don't care. I warned you, but you were just too stubborn. Yes. Don't go blaming me later. Okay. Jion repeatedly confirmed my answer. Then... Huh? Let's go back. Jion finally came back to the Jion I know. Jion released me from his arms. Is this not a dream? Jion was gazing at me warmly. Let's go home. Home. So we can go home together? Sure. On my way back home, I'm not alone anymore. Now I can show love! Ooh, that's a lot of hearts. If I hold you in my arms, I'm afraid I won't stop. So be careful. Sit here! I've been waiting for you! What are you going to do if I change into a bad kitty? What is a bad kitty, you ask? Hmm, how should I explain this? I feel like his voice is mellowed out now. I feel like he can't quite be the, the happy-go-lucky kitty that he was with the high-pitched voice anymore. Huh! I caught you trying to cook. Your cooking is the very best in the world. I don't think I can eat anywhere else anymore. I would starve to death without you, so don't just disappear one day, promise? Yeah, that's your job, not mine. He jung, he jung, look! I wanted to show you this. Ta-da! They're slippers with cat heads on them. Aren't they cute? I want you to think about me anywhere, anytime. If you were to wear this and look down at your feet, you'll be reminded of me, right? Yeah, we can take him on a date again, finally. Let's go to the beach. Show off my bikini again. Yes, the beach. <laughs> that would be romantic. I like the fact that we can enjoy the ocean whenever we want, since we live nearby. I really, really like the ocean. <laughs> Are you happy? Ah, uh, yes, because you're with me, Jion. I see. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so happy. I'm getting teary because you're here. I'm very happy. They'll never forget about me, okay? Never. Wear a bikini. A surprise present. You're really cute. You look pretty in anything. So, put this on. You're going to get your cold. <laughs> Did you have a good time? I was really happy. Huh? What's that look on your face? Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, now he's acting cute again, so I have to use the cute voice. Jion, let's go to the park. Yes, I want to go to the park. If only I can stop the season from changing. If time passes like this, I... Your eyes are so pure and beautiful. Uh, you have beautiful eyes too, Jion. Really? Then, if we were to get married later, our children will have beautiful eyes. <laughs> Huh? I'm going ahead of you? What are you talking about? 
There isn't much time left now. I want to stop the clock, but... A four-leaf clover is supposed to bring good luck. It took me so long to find this. Aw, it gave me a four-leaf clover. That's so sweet. Let's make a wish that the two of us would be happy like this forever. Now let's give him... I'm curious if he likes this jacket or not. Ah, somewhat. Wow, is this for me? You're the best! Thank you! Sit here. I've been waiting for you. The time I get to spend with you, it's like a dream. I'm so thankful for even the small things we do together. I want more memories with you. Gion hasn't been going out since he came back. He used to go out a lot before, making excuses. All he does is eat oranges while watching TV these days. A pile of orange peels on the table. I miss that a lot, but now that I'm seeing it every day, it's not very pleasant. What should we eat for dinner? Since there's only the two of us, I let Gion choose the dinner menu. Beefsteak! Gion acts cheerful, but he doesn't try to be cute anymore. The difference is, Gion became more honest. And I believe that this is the real Gion. Not too cute, but not too serious. But he still looks adorable to me. Ah, you're heavy! He's clinging on to me again. I want to watch you cook now. Why? You don't like the movie? No, I like watching you wearing an apron more than watching television. Aren't we like newlyweds? I blushed. N newlyweds I felt shy. Gion stared at me intently as I cut the onions. Ow! The onions are making me teary. You must like me so much that you're getting teary. No, it's the onions. I like them cut small. Hey, you just want me to suffer, huh? Although my eyes hurt, I couldn't stop smiling. It's like a dream. Jion is back. Hee Jung, being with you right now is like a dream. I was just thinking the same thing. What a coincidence that we'd have the same thought. I'm just going to grind these onions with a blender. <laughs> Are you going to make onion soup? Aren't you supposed to make some steak sauce? Whatever. My eyes hurt too much. I'm just going to grind them. Where did I put the blender? I searched the cabinet under the sink. I'm certainly a happy cat. I heard Gion's voice behind me. I began to feel shy again. I'm so happy that I'm afraid this happiness won't last. Here it is. I put the blender on the table. Gion? Yeah? Do you want to go to Seoul with me? Wow, really? Then I can continue to live with you? Not together. I have to be with my mom. But if you want to come to Seoul, we can see each other whenever we want. What? I can't live with you? Why? I have to live with my mom. Then can't the three of us live together? What? That's nonsense. Mom and Jian in the same house. No way. Oh yeah, I had to pretend to be a good little kitty if your mom's with us. I don't want that. A good little kitty? You know, I can't do... <laughs> you know, I can't do beep and beep to you like a bad kitty. <laughs> how, how could he actually say that out loud? Now I know that Mom and Jian living under the same roof would never happen. Jian, where did you learn those words? From the rabbit and the other girls. That's inappropriate. Don't use them. Whatever. He jung then. What? Then do I need to say goodbye to all the girls I've dated? All the girls? <laughs> yeah, the victims of my player days. I wonder how many. And what does he mean by his player days? Why did you date them? You didn't even like them. The question I've been wanting to ask him finally rose to the surface. They just bought me expensive food and gave me allowances. Allowances? Yes. Now I remember. A bundle of checks in Jion's wallet. You're worse than a gold digger. Yeah, you're right. He responds with a bright smile. He Jung, I actually have a better idea than going to Seoul. What is it? Living here with you like now. Uh, I would like that too, but... You're going to your mother's house because of money. I actually have a lot of money. What? Really? Yep, hold on. He took out his orange wallet. Oh, that wallet. See? This is a VIP card. Then he pulled out some more credit cards with an innocent smile. You... you... Whose 
credit cards are those? And quite a bit of cash. No, I, I don't need to see it. I'm sure he got that money in, in an unrightful way. So you don't have to worry about money. Call your mom and tell her that you're not going. <sighs> I should have paid anyway. You really have that much money? Yes, I do. If I add up all the money I got from those girls... <sighs> I sighed heavily. We really need to set things straight now. Jion, will you promise me one thing? That you'll never get money from another person or steal it. Oh, and you can't see other girls anymore. I don't want to see him with other girls, faking his feelings. Okay, I won't. I'll be a good little kitty now. Oh, he agreed awfully easily. It seemed like he would be upset about that. And one more thing. I remembered something he had said before. Everyone who was kind to me all ended up being miserable, so I was scared. That you'll end up being like that. That if you come any closer, you too will end up being miserable. I don't want him to feel insecure. We should both make efforts to be happy. Don't worry about becoming miserable. And let's make an effort to be happy. Okay. He should no longer do misdeeds. I want to make him happy. Okay, I promise. I felt shy. Hey, <laughs> Jong, I'm so happy. Seeing Jion happy ma also made me feel happy. Everything about Jion is so adorable. Have I fallen in love? You're the only one who has trusted in me and made me so happy. For the first time in my life, I have a belief that I can be with another person. You've chosen me, and I don't want to let you down. Choose? Hee Jung. Huh? What will you do if I suddenly disappear? What? That... this is such a random question. What does he mean by suddenly disappearing? There was only one answer. It's obvious. I'll go look for you, of course. You've been gone many times before. I'll just go looking for you. You'll really do that for me? Of course! From now on, I'm going to do my best to stay together. Will you promise me that too? Huh? That you'll continue to make an effort for us to stay together? Jiang continued to act li ask like a little boy. Will you promise? Yes, I promise. You promised? Yes. I can't trust you. Come here and pinky promise. <laughs> okay, have you been fooled all your life or something? Yeah, I've been fooled a lot. He stuck his tongue out at me. I took off the plastic kitchen glove and Pinky promised him. Cross my heart and hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. <laughs> You're like a little kid. Hey, it may be childish, but I have to make sure. Anyway, you have to keep this promise, okay? Okay, okay. I made eye contact with Jion, who was sulking a bit. From now on, I'll make an effort so that we can stay together. Wherever we are, no matter what. Hey Jong, you were in your room. I was wondering if you were crying alone again and got worried. Now that you have me, you have to tell me whenever there's something wrong. Thinking of you crying alone makes me sad. Let's give him... I don't think I gave the mouse pad before, did I? Oh, he likes it. You really know what I want. It's like tele telegram, right? Telegram? Thank you. No, he means telepathy. <laughs> hey, Jung, I knew it. You're taking a bath. How did I know? Because your clothes were outside the bathroom door. You should be more careful next time. That makes guys have naughty thoughts. Stare. I'm really happy when you look into my eyes. <laughs> You're cooking for me? Or cooking together? Never forget that, okay? I know I never will. Sure, are they having a fun exhibition? So, the theme of the exhibition is love? This is so romantic of you to bring me to a place like this. Oh. Um... Oh, this piece. Uh, yes, it's so pretty. It would be nice for you to paint like this one day. Hey, Jung, are you happy? Hey. Can I hug you before we go in? Why? Nobody's living with us anymore. Now we'll go to the university. Okay, with you I'll go anywhere. You're graduating soon. How do you feel? Hee Jung, I... Hmm... 
What's wrong? Are you... I really like you. <laughs> I like you so much that I can't even express my feelings in words. Did you paint a lot? I know that you'll one day paint great pieces. Walking home while holding your hands can't be any better. I wish the clock would stop. Hey, Jung, this is for you. Jiang gave you the photo frame. You should put our picture in here. Even if I were gone, you can look at the picture and not forget that I was here. I could hear Mom's furious voice over the phone. I'm sorry. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to stay here and study for now. <laughs> you should know that the standards there are different from Seoul. If you stay there, you'll ruin your life. So, you're going to prepare for law school there? No. Then? Although it's not what Mom wanted, I've decided my path. I'm going to study art here. I know it's not what you've wanted. I don't want to hear any more. You're not like my daughter anymore. I gave up on being the daughter you wanted me to be a long time ago. Oh, you can't be serious. Instead, I'm going to do what I want to do. Do what you want to do? You think it'll be that easy? You know what? Go ahead. I put so much care into you, and this is how you repay me? I don't even want to hear your voice. Don't ever call me again. Mom, I know you're angry, but... You must be furious, but don't turn your back on me. I needed a lot of courage to tell you this. Please don't. But the words I wanted to say were at the tip of my tongue, but... I bit my lips as I heard her hang up on me. It's all okay now. I told her what I wanted to do, so I'm okay. Even if she disapproves, it's okay. Hee Jung, are you okay? As I put down the phone, Jian asked me with a concerned face. Yes. Did you argue with your mom? Yeah. I can't really say that we argued. Are you and your mom on bad terms? No, it's more like... Well, I guess that we just don't get along, maybe. Don't get along? Yeah. I can't be the perfect daughter that she wants me to be. And she won't accept the fact that I'm changing. I put the phone down and threw myself onto the sofa. Hee Jung, ladies shouldn't just plop down like that. Yeah, okay. I'm going to train you to become a lady. I couldn't help laughing. You're not a lady, and you're going to train me to be one? Yeah, you know I'm good at acting. <laughs> Still, I envy you. Why? Jion looked down with a sad smile. Because you have a mom. Oh. Jion's comment was heartaching. Does he not have a mother? Do you... Surprised? I thought that he had received a lot of love from his parents because he had such a cheerful character. Now that I think about it... Yeah. Here the parents support you with everything, with education and allowance. For us, we only care about survival. He had told me that before. I was alone from the beginning. So, you were an orphan? Yes. I can't imagine. An orphan. Growing up without a parent must have been so hard and lonely. I had a hard time even when my parents got a divorce. But having no parents at all. I was with a group of bad cats since I was little. Bad cats? Yeah. Cats like me who were abandoned lived together. I had to learn to pickpocket and steal as a way to survive. That's why you were so used to pickpocketing. Then why did you have to do that even here? I was desperate. Jian looked at me guiltily. I felt like a burden to you, so I wanted to get my own place. Jian, I told you, the more you get to know me, the more miserable you'll become. So all those misdeeds were to get away from me? I was afraid you were being nice to me. At first I thought I would be able to stay here longer if I act cute and all, but... All of a sudden I began to like you being nice to me. I liked the way you treated me with no prejudice. I was acting all wrong, and yet you truly worried about me. You always cook my favorite food for me, and you listen to my concerns? And I... I... I held Jian's hand. Jian, it's okay. I don't want to hurt a good person anymore. I don't want to make you miserable. Jian, I've been curious about something. Why would you think I would become miserable? 
Why would being nice to John make me miserable? I want to know why he believes so. That's... He hesitated. If it's difficult, you don't have to tell me. Jion took out something from his pocket. Oh, his wallet. I remember Jion being furious at my opening his wallet without permission. He took out a picture from his wallet. It's the picture of that old lady. Who is it? If he keeps her picture in his wallet, she must be someone special. The first person ever to be nice to me. He suddenly looked very sad again. I used to have a close friend. A friend? Yes. We grew up in the same cat gang. His name was Kane. We were of the same height, and our pickpocketing skills were about the same. We both had no families, and got along very well. We did a lot of shameful things together. Kane was really ambitious. He even wanted to stage a coup against our boss when we became strong enough. This is like a novel. For the first time, I opposed him. Our boss has been taking care of us since we were young. But Cain didn't listen to me and eventually betrayed our boss. He's really something. Although he's my friend, he had changed too much and we were growing up. He had a glum look on his face. So, what happened? I got hurt trying to protect the boss, and I suddenly became one of the targets of Cain's gang. Then I realized, there is no one I can trust. And... They're still chasing me. Over there! Shoot, I can't run because I injured my leg. I have no choice but to hide in that house. Is anyone home? Who is it? Hey you, keep your mouth shut if you don't want to get hurt. What? I can't hear you. I should hide myself first. Huh? Oh my, who are you? Hey, have you seen an orange cat? I'm sure he came this way. What? I can't hear you. Did you not see a cat? A cat? Oh, a cat. The orange cat with spiky hair. Shoot, that old lady's gonna blow everything. That way. He ran up the hill. The hill. Okay. Young man, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Thank you for helping me out. I think they're gone now. Anyway, I should get going. Why don't you just stay for dinner? What? Are you sure, lady? If they find out that I'm here, you won't be safe. You really resemble my son, young man. Your son? I've saved up some oranges for my son. When he comes back, at least I'll have some of those. Oranges? Who would eat those? No, I'm leaving. You'll be in danger if I stay. Ow! Young man, are you okay? Your leg is bleeding. You can't walk like this. Just stay here until you get better. When your leg recovers, you can leave then. I was able to feel the feeling of having a family because of her. She gave me warm meals, a cozy bed, and unconditional love. She gave me everything that I've never experienced before. Hearing the story made me want to give Jion a big hug. I had no idea he had such a tough life. I should have left when my leg recovered. But I was so attached that every morning, when I would wake up, I would tell myself, just one more day. Granny, I'm back! Here, fish! Oh my, where did you get this again? Did you steal it? No, I became friends with a girl at the fish market over the hill, and she gave it to me for free. You must be a real charmer. Last time you got something from the fruit store for free. I must be good at talking with girls. How are you feeling? Me? I'm well. You've been coughing since last night. You should eat well. Don't you worry about me. I don't have much left anyway. Hey, don't say that. People like you should live long. You're the only good person I've met in my life, so you have to live long. I'm going to leave soon, but you have to live longer to meet your son. You're not going anywhere. I'll be alone again, thinking about my son. Don't say such things and think of here as your home. Granny, from now on, this is your home, okay? Granny, you have to live long. Granny, what is this? This must be a dream. Granny, this is a dream, right? <sighs> what happened to her? Haha, <laughs> I knew you would be here. Kane, what did you do? 
What did I do? Can't you see? You're speaking as if you've never seen a house on fire. Don't you remember? We used to always set houses on fire. <laughs> you. I'll never forgive you. Oh, and just what are you going to do? Granny, bring her back! Have you gone crazy living with that old lady? Have you seen anyone dead come back to life? <laughs> if you have something against me, then you should have taken me! Why did you kill an innocent lady? She... she was waiting for someone. She has to be alive. She was waiting for someone so dearly. Bring her back to life! Kane, I'll never forgive you. Never ever will I forgive you. Jian, who looked as if he was holding his tears back, lowered his head. This was no story of an ordinary teenage boy. I swore to take revenge on him. I hated him so much for killing Granny. I could not do anything but listen to him. His wound was just too deep for me to simply say I understand. Now I kind of know. Why he didn't trust anyone. Why he's been tricking people. I thought I would never be able to tell this story to anyone. I promised to myself that I would never trust anyone. And that I would never hurt anyone nice. Juan slowly lifted his head. He jung. He looked at me sorrowfully. I... I... Jian's eyes became teary. I'm afraid that she'll become hurt because of me. I'm so afraid. So afraid that it's driving me crazy. If something happens to you like Granny because of me, then how will I forgive myself? Jian, it's okay. Even if I tried to comfort him, he wouldn't let go of my sleeves. He's been feeling insecure this whole time. He was afraid because he was worried about me. Jian was worried about me the whole time. The reason why he tried to draw a line between us, the reason why he yelled at me to leave him, to leave him alone, was all because he was afraid that I would get hurt. He Jung, I'm sorry for being so harsh to you. I'm really sorry. You know I didn't mean it, right? I don't want to let you go, I... He grabbed my sleeve tightly. I want to stay with you. And just like that, the wall between us came down. I can't imagine how lonely and hurt he must have been all this time. Trying to push me away, feeling insecure, pushing me away and away again. It must have been so difficult and lonely. You promised, Hee Jung, that we forever would be together. Yes. You can't change your mind. Never. Okay, I won't. No matter what, if we wish desperately, we can be together. Okay. Don't forget me. Even if I disappear, you must come find me. Okay, I will. Jian asked me to promise many times. And I couldn't do anything but say yes. I promised to myself from now on, I would spare no love to Jian. I would take care of him so he won't be worried anymore. I wanted to make him happy. To make him smile. I truly did. I was thinking of you. Even when we are together, I miss you. I don't want the time to fly by. <laughs> you're cooking for me? You know, your apron. If I look at you in that apron long enough, I think I'm going to turn into a bad kitty. Hello, little cat. It's been a while. I knew you were going to come. Time's running out, isn't it? You know well. I was impressed. You sent all the competitors away and kept the heroine to yourself. I didn't mean to. Anyway, it was interesting. Also, the way you changed. It was more than I expected. You didn't seem to care much about winning. But this is so unexpected. Congratulations! Happy? No? I guess you're not that happy. You finally won and your wish will come true. You can finally get your granny's revenge. How much more time do I have until the game's over? Hmm, I'd say a little over a month. Um, in a month, I'll... The moment the game's over, you'll return to your own world. Is anybody waiting for you back there? Ah, right. Silly me. You were alone, weren't you? But at least the enemy that you detested so will be gone. And the heroine will call me. Wizard.
Why? Yes? Why are you so obsessed with her? Obsessed? <laughs> Alright, you call this kind of emotion an obsession. Ah, will she come see me? What do you think? You aren't sure? You think she won't miss you enough? She will. She'll definitely come to see you. To meet me. She'll keep trying until she does. Because she promised. Right. I'll believe you for now. I'm really looking forward to the results. I hope the rest of your days in this world are happy. So that she will be deeper in love with you. Oh, right. And please, take care not to breach the contract. And remember that telling her that you will be returning to your world is also a breach of contract. Then, enjoy your month here. I'll see you again on the last day. It's still spring, yet the weather is very hot. The weather forecast said it's going to be as hot as 28 degrees Celsius today. Jion went out by himself in the morning. And he said he's going to talk to one of the girls who was victimized by his playing with fire of love. I wonder how that went. Oh, Jion! The front door opened and Jion went walked in. Phew, it's really hot outside today. Then you shouldn't be wearing, you know, the jacket and the hoodie and everything. <laughs> yeah, it really feels like summer today. I opened all the windows, but the house was still hot. Did you talk to her? What's that? Jion is holding a black plastic bag in his hand. I bought ice cream for us. Wow, thanks! It's not summer yet, but ice cream sounds perfect on a hot day like this. It's been quite a while since I had ice cream. <laughs> I succeeded this time. Huh? When I bought you last time, you didn't like it. Jion grinned. But you're smiling now. It's a complete success. <laughs> the bag, right? At the time, I was more worried than happy. Now I kind of have an idea as to what makes you happy. Jian fumbled in his pocket for something. Here, this is for you. Huh? What could it be? Here. Jian handed me a card. Aww. It's a card with pink hearts printed all over it. It's a, it's a card that expresses my heart. Well, he didn't give me anything for Christmas, but he's giving me this now, which is sweet. Jian beamed. A card that Jian wrote himself. Thank you, Jian. I took the card from him. This is such a nice surprise. I had no idea that he would give me something like this. I'm really happy. But I didn't prepare anything like this. The simple card meant so much because I knew that Jian had put his thoughts into it. I'm glad that Jian is now able to realize that. I'm happy because you're happy. I held the card close to my chest. Thank you, Jion. I'm going to treasure it forever. Oh, I've already forgotten what places we've taken him. I think university was the last place, right? So the bookstore? With you, I'll go anywhere. What did you like about me? What, everything? I like everything about you, too. What are you reading? <laughs> Selecting the best oranges. <laughs> I'll do that. You must really like me to read that kind of book. Now oranges, re now oranges really remind you of me, right? <laughs> to tell you the truth, our walk together like this. Nah, nothing. Let's just cherish this moment. Now I'll take him to the restaurant. Okay, let's go. What did you like? Why does he keep asking the same thing? What did you like about me? I'm still not sure what charms I have. <laughs> Ijeong. Uh, Jion? I'm very happy these days. But at the same time, very sad. But I can't tell you why. Sorry. Let's hold hands, okay? I want to be with you. Our days together... Never mind, let's go in. Yes, take me with you. You're glad to be out with me, right? I'm so happy when we walk together holding hands. Hee Jung, your lips are red. Uh, oh, it must be the strawberry milkshake. Really? Can I have a taste of that strawberry shake? 
Nah, I want to taste it from your lips. Did you have fun today? We can spare no time. I will miss this moment so much that I want to hang on to it. <laughs> I'm sorry for saying such weird things. Let's go home. And last place we get to go on a date is the cinema. Did you reserve the tickets in advance? <laughs> you want some popcorn? Choose whatever you want. I like anything. Yi Chang, I... Uh, what is it, Jian? Can you hold my hand? It's dark, but I want to feel your warmth. <laughs> I don't even know what the movie was about. I was too busy watching you. Walking with you like this makes me very happy. I'm worried that someday this happiness will be gone. Yi Jung, Yi Jung! Hmm? I bought firecrackers! Jian, who'd left to buy some coffee for us, came back with an armful of firecrackers. Firecrackers? Why firecrackers all of a sudden? They say that on the beach at night, firecrackers are the best! R really? You've done it before, huh? Uh, um... Actually... I've never done it before. I'd always wanted to, but I never got around to doing it. When I was young, Mom kept me from doing it, saying it was too dangerous. Wow, really? Then you're going to do it for the first time with me? Dion smiled happily. Firecrackers, for the first time. On a beach with no one but us two. Yeah. Then we have to make this memorable. Jion pulled me closer to where the sand is. The beach at night is really dark. As we got farther away from the streetlights, we were surrounded by darkness and could hear only the waves crashing onto the beach. It's like we're in a different world. It's like your dream, huh? Jion lighted one sparkler. With a crackle, the tip of the stick began to sparkle. Wow! It's beautiful! Yeah, huh? It was really like a dream. The two of us, at the night beach, playing with firecrackers. This is what I meant. Huh? I was focused on the sparkler, and was startled when Jian spoke. Jian's face was right in front of mine. This is what I meant by playing with the fire of love. Jian smiled that brilliant smile of his, and his face leaned in even closer. Is this really not a dream? This is all so beautiful. I can't explain just how happy I am. My heart warmed up. The moments I cried for you. The moments my heart ached for you. The moments I've waited for you. I thought about them. And now only happiness awaited us. I wanted to take in Jisoo's past pains, everything that Jian had told me. Not too fast, but gradually, one step at a time. And someday, Jian would feel safe enough to stay here forever. Yi Jung. Our lips parted and total darkness surrounded us. Jian smiled in the darkness. I wanted to help Jian smile like this all the time. Even if I mess up again. Even if I reject others and hurt them. Even if I run from others' kindness. Still, you always... Find me and be by my side, right? Of course! No matter where we are, what happens? I knew what Jian wanted to say. Yes, I'll always try for us to be together. Never forget that. I won't. You're always saying that. Yeah. You think I'm a dummy who can't remember anything? Jian smiled at my words. Yeah, to tell you the truth, I'm a little worried. I'm not stupid like that. <laughs> He's checked so many times. Was he still uneasy? I looked into Jian's eyes. I'll never forget. Okay. Jian's smile was sad. Thank you for being by my side. I'll never forget how happy I was today. Ever. There will be so many more happy days to come. Okay. Let's do this again sometime when the beach is full of people. <sighs> okay. Let's do that. And we finished up our firecrackers. Every time the firecrackers went off, I saw Jian's face. My precious Jian. I wanted to protect him. Finding the meaning of life in another person was beautiful and touching. Hmm? 
I was tired even though I'd just woken up. I returned home a little past 2 a.m. last night. It was already 11 a.m. Dion? Was he still sleeping? Where was he? Dion wasn't home. Nobody was home. Did he go somewhere? Maybe he went out to buy something real quick. Then I should prepare lunch before he comes back. Right, I should buy some oranges. I should stop by the fruit store after lunch. Today's menu is fish. He's a typical cat that likes fish. I should stop by the fish shop where Jisoo is working at when I go out for oranges. Jisoo, I hope he was doing okay. And the others, too. I put on my apron. Waiting for someone and cooking for them, I didn't know it would make me so happy. Where did he go? I missed him already. I wanted to sit in front of him and eat and talk about everything with him. These small things I did with Jion were what made me happy. Let's do this again sometime, when the beach is full of people. Hello. I am the wizard. That cat was right. You did come to see me. Oh no. Oh no, what happened to you? You were trying so hard to find the cat, weren't you? You still haven't found him yet? Of course you didn't. He's back in his own world. A way to find him? There is a way. I am the wizard. There's nothing I can't do. Of course, I can make your wish come true too. If you pay the price for it. The price is a part of your memory. Of course, returning the cat to your world is a piece of cake. You're giving me your memory? Just like that? <laughs> but wait. I'm not going to grant your wish just yet. Why? Because I might never be able to see you again. If I grant your wish now, and you will forget about me too once you lose your memory. So, let me watch you a little longer. Oh, I'd like to see you lonely, missing him, in pain, a little more. I tried so hard to meet you. I won't let you go just yet. <laughs> Don't be so mad. I'll grant your wish someday, for your memory. When I'm tired of seeing you so sad, then I'll have your memory to pass time. My heroine. Now it's quality time for just the two of us. Until your wish comes true, you belong to me, and only me. I looked at the ocean, my heart feeling empty. It had been two months since I was treated for memory loss. What part of my memory was gone? I couldn't remember anything. Is this a beach that I'd been to before? The sound of the waves, had I heard it before? The object in my hand, was I fond of it? You remembered about the firecrackers. Excuse me? A, the sudden voice of a man startled me. Finally, I found you. Do you know me? The man just smiled. You promised you wouldn't forget. What? You said you wouldn't forget your promise. I couldn't understand what he was saying. I'd forgotten the last couple years of my life. Stupid. I told you so many times not to forget me. Our promise is to stay together, to keep trying for us to be together. Forgot all about it. I knew you would. I told you so many times a day, and yet... Ijang, now I have to keep the promise myself. I'm always going to be by your side now. We'll always be together. Oh, he looks cute with that hairstyle. I like it. Finn. Yeah, so that was a pretty decent ending for him. Yeah, my favorite was definitely... I don't know, it's a tie between Jihei and Jisoo. I love them both so much. But I feel like Jisoo, like she was meant to be with him because he's the one who was always so concerned about her no matter who she was pursuing at the time, you know? He was just so sweet, and I just always felt so bad that he was always concerned for her, and she just practically, you know, she falls in love with somebody, and she just totally ignores everybody else. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that's what it felt like to me anyway. I mean, it, it probably, I think the developers were getting at that she cared about all of them, you know, but 
Uh, well, anyway, I enjoyed the game. This is, uh, I played it years and years ago, and, uh, so this is my, I don't know, second playthrough after so many, after a while. So, uh, I hope some of you enjoyed my readings, and I hope you'll join me for some other visual novels or some of my game playthroughs at some point. Oh, actually, we do have a little bit more content, because there are some extras, so... Uh, stay tuned for that next last extra video so I can finish showing you the rest of the content that's in the game. Alright, hope to see you in the next video. And uh, I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show your support. Thanks so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. To really signing out. Bye bye, everybody.